Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special pink Boksu box for March of 2021. See here, you got what looks like Sakura or cherry blossoms on the outside here. Pretty nice. Doo -doo -doo. Premium Japanese snacks inside. Let's open it up and see what we got. All right, we're gonna celebrate Hanami in this one with this limited edition Sakura Boksu box or Sakura as they like to say and you got Sakura Spring And I will get these out of here and I'll show you what we got in this box All right, like the last box now we got some chips. We got the Super Mucho chips Sour plum flavor And I'll let you see it here Big old bag of chips. Hoping they're gonna be good, cause otherwise I got a big old bag of nasty chips. And I don't want a big, what the heck is that on the back? You see that down there? I don't know what that is. Can you see it? That's a crazy looking thing. Uh, yeah. You gotta watch out for some of these packages from Asia. They got some, uh, some creepy characters on them sometimes. Uh, but this is made by Kokia or Koikia. Of course, they're going to be savory. And these thin, crispy potato chips are bursting with flavor. Like an ode to the Japanese plum tree, every bite carries the floral notes of plum blossoms, the sourness of umiboshi, which is pickled plum, and the earthiness of shiso, which is perilla leaves. Should be interesting. Hopefully they're as good as the last chips I had. We are straight motoring through these items here. And we got another little cake item, a sakura cake. I like the last cake I had in the Seasons of Japan box. That was really good. And this is also a classic exclusive. Like I said before, Sakura cake. And it's made by Petite Fleur. This cake is flavored with real Sakura flowers. And if you're lucky, you may even find a whole blossom baked into your cake. Gentle in flavor, soft in texture. It truly reminds us of Japan's cherry blossom blooms. And this should be a savory, not a sweet cake. So that should be interesting in itself. I'll have to let y'all see if I actually get a, a Sakura Blossom in there. <laughs> it should be good. All right, we have another item from Bourbon who was in the last box and they had some really great chocolate ganache mochi. And now we have Alfort Premium Rich Strawberry Mini Chocolates. See there, it's 40%, I guess, cacao in this one. See the back here? Pretty cool. Looks like it's uh, it's like a little chocolate wafer there with the strawberry around it. Or on top of it, one of the two. But sailing its way into your box and heart is the Alfort Premium Strawberry Chocolate. The luxurious strawberry chocolate and soft chocolate biscuit combination is sinfully delicious. This chocolate biscuit will have you wondering, how does Alfort do it? And of course, this is gonna be sweet. Should be good, hopefully. And we got some gummies to enjoy here. We have pure or puree gummy, premium, mecon, and pink grapefruit made by Conroe. As you can see here, you can see the big old pink grapefruit on there. And I'm guessing that the mecon is on there. It's a type of citrus fruit. It looks like it's uh, three different color gummies inside the package here. Sounds yummy. And a uh, pure gummy is always a treat, but this premium version has a jelly center for a hint of luxury. The sweet and sour coating enhances the bright citrus flavors of Mikan, a Japanese citrus fruit, and grapefruit. And this, of course, should be sweet. And you know it wouldn't be a complete box without some mochi, 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 oh the mochi. We have some Sakura mochi. I'll show you there. It's nice and squishy. Oh la ma la la la. Look at that squishy mochi. Love it already. Cause I love me some mochi. And it's made by Mor Mar Marusan Tamikiya. This Sakura infused mochi is a Japanese rice cake made by pounding steamed mochi gome, which is glutinous mochi rice. After being sweetened and flavored, it's rolled in rice flour to keep it from sticking. 
you enjoy this with a cup of tea for perfect pairing, and it's probably good with the tea item, which is up next. As I just said, we got the tea item up next, and it's Sasumache, or Sasumarch, Sakura Sakura Green Tea. Let's see here. I love me some green tea, and this has got Sakura in it, so that should be good. And it's made by Kagoshima Seicha. The seasonally limited tea is only available for the springtime, so that should be a special treat in itself. Ryokucha green tea from Kagoshima Prefecture is scented with Japanese sakura leaves for a floral fragrance over the fresh flavor of the tea. Should be good. Should go good with that sakura mochi as well. And maybe the cake too. I don't know. I'll have to try it. And the final item to grace our Boksu box today is another classic exclusive. And it is the Sakura Bushi. Or Bushi. Or Bushi. I don't know. Interesting spelling. But as you can see here, the package for it. Probably got that upside sideways. There we go. There's the back of it. Nice little soft cake filling thing. And it's made by Ichifuji Seika. A bouche or bouchi. Or bouche. I don't know. Some French word. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Is a small pastry with a sweet filling. This cherry blossom pastry has a sakura flower printed on the cakey buns. Mmm, cakey buns. Inside is a sweet and soft cream infused with cherry juice for a fruity aroma in every bite. And they give you a little picture there, you can see, that has the little filling in there. Sounds pretty good. Should be a sweet flavor. I'm looking forward to this. And it's cakey buns. Thanks for tagging along with me here for part two of the Boksu Box for March 2021. Once again, it was Sakura Spring. And I'm sure you heard lots of Sakura in there with all the mochi and all the cakes and all the crazy stuff for both of these parts of these videos if you didn't watch part one please go back and check it out and hopefully you'll check out or have checked out the other boksu boxes i have in my boksu box playlist and i hope you'll stick around because i'm gonna have a video up here with the um thing that was in the back of the box or back of the booklet here that taught you a little bit about hanami um Hopefully it's something new I'll start doing where, you know, I'm kind of learning about Asian culture and various things, uh, mainly the Japanese culture, of course, through these boxes boxes. But um, as I learn, though, I'm going to try to help and, and you know, yeah, I'm probably going to butcher some stuff, but hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy it as well. Uh, maybe you'll learn something about their history, culture, uh, words, you know, anything. Um, I will leave you here with, a couple of things. First of all, I'll give you the hint for next month's uh, Boksu box, and this is the haiku hint. How long has it been since we sent out our first box? And how many snacks? So, this should be an interesting one because it sounds like it's kind of like an anniversary one or something of that nature. And I will also leave you with this nugget of joy here, which is very simple. The right time is always now. Think on it. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Like if you enjoyed these videos. And please come back and check out more from this channel. Thank you again. Have a great day. Prime is